My name is Taylor Gannon and I researched the Nepal 2015 earthquake. On April 25, 2015, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Nepal. The earthquake occurred because of two converging tectonic plates. The Indian section of the Indo-Australian plate and the Eurasia plate are the tectonic plates which caused this earthquake. The Indian plate subducts the Eurasia plate constantly, which creates the Himalayan mountains. The earthquake had a depth of only 7 miles, which is considered shallow in geological terms. This earthquake was felt as far away as Pakistan, which is more than 700 miles away from Nepal. Around 9,000 people died and more than 22,000 were injured during this earthquake, which makes it the deadliest earthquake in this region in 81 years. About 8 million people were affected in total, which is about one-third of Nepal's population. Hundreds of thousands of people faced extreme poverty after the earthquake, which is more than 600,000 homes being destroyed and 280,000 being damaged. Bricks collapsed from temples all around Nepal, and brick is the go-to building material because there are many brick works throughout the Kathmandu Valley. Buildings were not constructed the best and lacked steel reinforcements and adequate foundations, which made them more susceptible to collapsing. As you can see in the picture, this is a before and after of a temple in Nepal. Many houses were destroyed from the earthquake, which made many people homeless. So tents were set up around the country in communities for people to live together after the earthquake. The earthquake also triggered an avalanche on Mount Everest that killed 19 climbers and stranded hundreds at a base camp on the mountain. Tourism is one of Nepal's top income generators and was severely set back because of the earthquake. Tourist flow decreased by over 72% due to the aftermath. Agriculture is another one of Nepal's top income generators and many farmers were affected as well as the livestock because of the earthquake. Many farmers lost their livestock, crops, food stocks, and irrigation systems due to the earthquake and were unable to harvest again until 2016. However, livestock were impacted as well. Many goats and cows in remote locations lost their shelters and consequently had been overexposed to the elements for days, causing them to become very sick. Initial damage estimates ranged from $5 billion to $10 billion. However, once Nepal assessed all the damage, it came out to be about $9 billion worth of damage. Since many of the resources had been compromised, Nepal's government allowed for deforestation in order to help them rebuild. It destabilized Nepal's landscape and made it easier for landslides to occur once the monsoon season had begun for them. The region of Nepal was affected as it spanned across the entire country leaving it to rebuild together. All earth systems are impacted by an earthquake. However, the geosphere is the earth system that causes an earthquake to occur. A way to look on the bright side of things is that climate change has been an issue in Nepal for a number of years. Intensive road construction, large-scale installation of water supply pipes, and brick factory kilns are among the leading causes of air pollution in Nepal. Brick kilns, like the one pictured here, are a major source of sulfur dioxide, which is a pollutant. However, a large number of the brick kilns were damaged in the Kathmandu Valley during the earthquake. Around 95% of them needed some type of repair after the earthquake. So, organizations took it upon themselves to improve the brick kilns while repairing them so that they would become more eco-friendly and reduce the amount of sulfur dioxide emitted into the atmosphere. Although Nepal is still recovering from the earthquake that occurred in 2015 today, many organizations such as Habitat for Humanity have put in resources and efforts to try and help them rebuild.